isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. Hello, Simmies, and welcome to or back to my channel. It's your girl, Simply Wive. And today I bring you another episode of Team Mom. Before we get into today's video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss out when I post. All right, Simmies, let's get into the video. Welcome to Simsmas Day 9. And y'all, I know, I know, I know. I'm posting this video a little bit late. I normally post my videos early afternoon, but it's been a busy week, a busy weekend so far, actually. So it's going to be a later upload today, but this will be posted on day nine because your girl is really trying hard not to miss a beat. But yes, in the last video, y'all saw what happened. Vincent and Lamar met up. Vincent was really trying to be on his grown man team and meet up with Lamar and just try to have like a man to man conversation because they've never done that y'all but he was just trying to have a man-to-man -man conversation to just talk to him about this whole court fiasco because it's really no need for them to go to court but Lamar wasn't trying to hear it so y'all saw what happened Lamar shoved Vincent and I'm proud of Vincent for not like hitting him or pushing him back because it could have really escalated but I'm proud of Vincent because he knows how much he has to lose and he doesn't want to mess up things with Liana and this whole court situation and her keeping full custody of the girls. He doesn't want to mess that up. So he doesn't want anything against them. Like right now, everything is good with them. Everything's good with the girls. So, you know, he didn't want to mess up any chances of her losing custody of them. So yeah, um, you know, everybody is mad at Lamar. I see y'all in the comments. I'm mad at him too, because he just talking crazy. Then he talking about, telling Vincent to leave Liana alone so he can have her and then Tanya and Liana can be sister wives like he's just talking crazy like he don't know what he want to do he want to claim the girls he don't want to claim them. he want Liana he don't want Liana but regardless it's all Liana's decision she's been present in her daughter's lives from day one she ain't never ever 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 missed a beat when it comes to that she don't play by her kids don't play with her. I know she's still young. She's still learning. We got a lot to go. But my girl never plays about her kids. Like, don't do that. So for him to even play in her face like this is crazy. And two, even if they didn't have kids together or whatever the case may be, she would never go back to Lamar because of how he treated her. It doesn't matter what the outcome of their relationship was. It was how he treated her when they were together and the fact that he was cheating on her the whole time with the girl that he's with now. So it's just a whole mess. But as y'all can see, our sis is sad. Y'all, it's actually the morning of court, but it's like hours before. Court is at 9, and I think it's like 2 or 3 in the morning. Our girl can't sleep. She's stressed. She don't know what to do. So what we're going to have her do, let me get out of tab mode. Um, Everybody else is asleep as they should be. But um, we're going to have Liana send a sad text to Iris. Just because Iris has been through some deep things in her life, so... We really think that she can help. Oh, it's almost 4 in the morning. But we really think that she can help, you know, kind of calm Liana down. And, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so upset. This is not, this is not good. But I'm hoping that she can, like, you know, soothe Liana and calm her down some. Soothe her nerves a little bit. So, we're actually going to have her come over. She's going to go cry in bed. But we're going to invite Iris over, y'all. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get her over here. Liana wants to go cry in bed. I don't want her to go cry. Girl, I'm sorry. We just invited... Yeah, to go Iris. We just invited Iris over. I'm going to go ahead and take control of her really quick. And we're just going to have her just try to come in here and calm Liana down as best as she can. Um... Let's see, let's be nice to her. We're going to, oh, we could compliment her on her engagement. Let's have a deep conversation. Cause Liana hasn't really told anybody. So Iris is like, girl, you have me coming over here at four in the morning. Of course I'm gonna pop up every time. Like I'm never going to not show up when it comes to my girls. So she's just like, what's going on? Oh yes, Iris loves deep thoughts. She's gonna give her a heartfelt compliment. And she's just like, it got to be something serious for you to invite me over. 
this early in the morning and Liana's like you know what actually I do have something I need to tell you so a couple nights ago I was served with full custody papers from my twins father Iris had to stand up y'all she's like what do you even mean from bright in her day she's like what do you even mean why would he do that like Iris look at Iris face she's so mad she's gonna try to cheer her up She's like, Liana, honestly, I'm so sorry that you even have to deal with that. And Liana's like, you know, it's nothing for you to apologize about. It's it's nothing to do with you, but I do appreciate the apology. And she's like, girl, I wish there was something more I could do, like, to get you out of this situation. But all I can say is, since I've known you, you've been an amazing mother to all three of your girls. And i don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to keep custody of them yes it sucks that he's putting you through that in in the beginning it sucks that he's even taking you through all of this but like i don't think you have any problem of of keeping your girls like let him be miserable misery loves company like that's all it is and you know again i'm sorry but girl you got this i'm gonna be rooting you on i wish i could come with you and this secret is going to stay between us. And then is just like, thank you so much, Iris. Like, I appreciate you so much. You really came through when I needed you. And I appreciate that. I know you've gone through some things in your life where you've actually been kicked out and you've been living on your own for a while. And, you know, you may not be having the baby daddy issues, but you still know part of what I've gone through. And we can relate in that way. So I do appreciate you for that. So she's gonna go ahead and send Iris home, and Liana's gonna try to get like two hours of sleep. Oh, our baby is up. What's wrong? She had a nightmare. Okay, Vincent's gonna take care of her because Liana needs to um get some sleep, and he's gonna read her to sleep. Yeah, because court is at 9 a.m., so we need to be up at least by 8 so she can um wait. Hold on, let me uncontrol Iris because y'all always forget to do that. Is she already gone? Okay, perfect. I caught it. I always forget to do that. Okay, boom. That's good. So, yeah, we're going to have Vincent take care of the babies because Liana has to be up by at least 8 o'clock to, um, you know, get ready for court and stuff because it's at 9. So, we're going to have him take care of the kiddos. But, yes, she feels a little bit better after talking to Iris. Yes, you know, it's not 100% because she's still terrified of losing her babies even though she shouldn't have anything to worry about but y'all we don't really know what's going on you know what i'm saying anything can happen but we're hopeful and we're praying that liana gets to keep custody of them because it would have literally turned her whole world upside down and we don't want that is my baby hungry is she hungry is that why she's crying Okay, here. He gonna come soup you to sleep, baby. As soon as um I think she might be going back to sleep actually. Is she? She ain't feeling me right now. Here, come soup her to sleep and kiss her goodnight. Ah, <sighs> this is why we love us a Vincent because he gonna step in every time. He read Zara right to sleep. And he gonna come in here and take care of Nailani. And then, how are you feeling? Okay, Vincent's feeling pretty good. You can come use the bathroom. And, oh, he's going to work. Okay, we're gonna have to call a babysitter over. I forgot he had work today. Yeah, when Liana gets up at 8, we're gonna have to call a babysitter. Probably her cousin Jasmine. And so we have time to, like, get ready for court and get there and everything. But yeah, I might have Liana actually get up soon. Well, I'll see y'all when she gets up. All right, y'all. So our good sis is up and ready. I know y'all see her looking so good. Yes, she had to put it on for this court hearing. She's looking really, 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 really good. And of course, y'all know. Y'all already know the rock is still rocking. Let's not play. But yes, she had to put it on real quick. Um, it's almost 8 a.m. So she's actually about to go ahead and call Jasmine over because we need a babysitter. And I did put it back in my game. I didn't forget to put it back in. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call Jasmine over. I think she's about to do her facial cleanser. 
Ooh, and we need to pump, actually. She definitely needs to pump before court. But she's going to try to be early, at least like 30 minutes early. So hopefully we can pump and stuff. Jasmine is coming right over. She's the best. But yeah, hopefully we can pump and things like that before 8.30 so we can head over to court. And there's Jasmine. Right on time as always. She is very reliable. We love her. Look, she cleaning up dishes and stuff. Okay, Jasmine. Well, she was picking it up. I don't know what happened. I guess because I called her out. <laughs> Jasmine, not on. Be our guest. Go ahead. Okay, Leona's almost done. We might get to, uh, we might get to court like 15 minutes early because, yeah. But that's okay. We still going to be early. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let her finish pumping y'all. And we're going to see y'all at the courthouse. All right, y'all. So, Leona just pulled up to the courthouse. And she did get here early. She got here at 845. She's going to go inside and wait for the hearing to start. But I just want to show you guys the courthouse really quick. Give me one second. All right, y'all. So, this is the courthouse that I downloaded off the gallery. I did download a courthouse in preparations for this episode. But for some reason, I can't find it in my game. And I don't have time to get out my game to re-download it and go back in. So yeah, I downloaded this off the gallery. It is by ZREN61 or ZREN61. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I popped their name up on the screen right here. So you guys can go get this off the gallery. And it is just called Courthouse. It looks really good on the inside, so yeah. And I think with it snowing, it looks even better, so yeah. But Liana's going to go ahead and go inside and wait for the hearing, so let's head inside all rise the honorable judge reed presiding all right so we are all gathered in this courtroom today based upon mr waller's petition for full custody for uh twins almost two years of age zuri buyers and zara buyers so uh Mr. Waller, how about you go ahead and tell us why why you brought up this case today? Well, ma'am, I brought up this case today because, honestly, ever since my daughters were born, I have not gotten a chance to see them. You know, I was there with Miss Byers here for her entire pregnancy. I was ecstatic when I found out she was expecting and when I found out it was twins, I was twice as happy, ma'am. And, you know, like I said, ever since those twins were born, I haven't gotten a chance to be a part of their lives. And I have begged Miss Byers on countless occasions to allow me to be a part of my daughter's lives. We got multiple paternity tests, which I have proof right here in this folder, ma'am, if you need to see proof of paternity. I never deny my kids, and I just want a fair chance to raise them. How I feel is though, Ms. Byers has had them almost two years of their lives, so I feel like I should be granted full custody for at least the next two years of their lives. Well, Mr. Waller, I want to thank you for letting us know why you have gathered us here today, but I do want to give Ms. Byers a chance to speak as well. Good morning, Your Honor, and I want to say thank you for taking the time out to be here today to hear our case and to join us for this hearing. Um, I'm trying to be in the best mood I can because at the end of the day, I have to fight for my daughters because at this age, they do not have a voice for themselves, so I will be their voice, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Waller did state some facts in his statement. We do have multiple paternity tests proving that he is the father, Your Honor. And, you know, I do believe that Mr. Waller should be in our twins' lives. I've always felt that way, and that's all I've ever wanted. My wish is always going to be my daughter's best interest, and I do believe they deserve to have their father in their lives. Now, Your Honor, we've never gone to court to grant who gets full custody of the girls, but you know, when I did have my daughters, Mr. Waller was not around and I've given him chances to be around. And I actually still to this day encourage him to be a part of our daughter's lives. So never will I ever take any type of custody away from him, your honor. But I am a little sad to know that 
custody of my daughters may be taken away from me today. Ms. Spires, I appreciate your statement here today and nothing has been decided as of yet. So I do want you to remain positive as I hear the rest of this case. Now, Mr. Waller, I do see you have a guest with you today. Um, may you introduce this guest and explain what her presence is here in this courtroom today? Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, first off, I do want to say that everything Ms. Byers has stated is not a uh, factual statements, Your Honor. They're actually lies. And this beautiful young lady I have standing to the left of me is my fiance, Tanya Stanley. And the reason why she is in this courtroom today, Your Honor, is because she is a character witness to all of the events that have unfolded to bring us here today. And she's also here to speak on my behalf and as to why I should have full custody over my daughters. Mr. Waller, nothing has been proven fact or fiction, but Ms. Stanley, let us know why you're here today. Yes, Ms. Judge Lady. So I'm here because my wonderful fiance here deserves to be a part of his twins lives and this girl over here miss byers y'all want to call her liana that's her name um she has not even given him a chance to be a part of their lives you know what i'm saying and i just don't feel like that's right i've stood by his side i've watched him cry at night begging her calling her pleading with her anything he could to make sure he could be a part of their lives but Liana here has never given him a chance to, Miss Judge Lady. Ever since she got pregnant with those twins, who she didn't even know who the father of the twins were. My fiance here had to request four different paternity tests to prove that he was the father. And even then, she was denying him access and was still denying that he was the father. I just don't understand why we even had to take it this far, Your Honor. If she would just allow him to be in the girls' lives, we wouldn't even be here right now. But instead, we got to take time out of our days away from those precious little babies that we just want to love on and take care of and spoil. And at the end of the day, we are doing better than she is, to be honest. Thank you for your statement, Ms. Stanley. It will be taken into consideration. Um, thank you for being here. I've heard a lot and i think we're going to take a quick recess just for me to go over a few things and we'll be right back all right i've had a chance to go over a few things and i have a few questions to ask i'm um, starting with you miss byers i did reach out to copperdale high school where you are currently enrolled and i've heard great things from your teachers and principals is it true that you are going to be graduating early and as valedictorian of your class. Also, I would like to hear how you currently take care of the girls, what are the living conditions, how are things at home? Tell me more about that situation. Oh, well, yes, Your Honor. I am actually graduating early. I'm actually graduating this month. Um, I'm so excited about that. Uh, I know, you know, having kids at a very young age, people thought it was nearly impossible for me to do this. Um, you know, I do have my twins that I had at 16, and I did actually have another daughter at 17. I recently turned 18, Your Honor. And, you know, I'm so proud of myself. Not even, you know, the naysayers or whatever the case may be. I'm just proud of myself within to be able to graduate early and to be able to provide better lives for all three of my daughters. Um, I actually live in an apartment with my fiance in Evergreen Harbor. We've been living there for almost a year now, so things are going pretty good in that aspect. As far as the living conditions, all three of my girls do share a room, but it's more so because they're close in age. Um, you know, like I said, I have my twins that are almost two, and then my youngest daughter is gonna be turning one soon as well. Um, so yes, that is how that apartment situation is going. Um, I'm doing really good. We've been saving a lot of money, and we also, me and my fiance, we make sure that we work opposite schedules. So during the week, I go to school and I also have a job for two hours in the morning before school. I also have cheer practice three days a week after school. And then my fiance, he works on the weekends because I'm out of school and, you know, out of work and off of cheer practice. 
through the weekend so it kind of works like our schedule is really perfect so you know our daughters are never by themselves and in those rare instances where we do have to leave we have my mom my dad my brother his wife and also my cousin jasmine that can watch our kids well thank you miss Byers, for giving me that backstory and telling me more about yourself and your life with your daughters as it is today the, everyone i did speak to speaks very highly of you so i do appreciate that of you and you know at such a young age you do remind me of myself when i was your age very driven very ambitious thank you hmm, you must know her mom or something because y'all are hitting it off a little too well you didn't ask me how my current living situations were ma'am I don't understand why you come back and give her all the praise when I'm the one that filed a petition for full custody. If she was really so worried about our daughters, why didn't she ever file one, huh? And I don't understand why you guys are hee hee and ha ha and all chipper best buddies. Like, do y'all know each other? Because if that's the case, we could get this thrown out and I'm gonna request a new judge. Yeah, what my husband said, period, eh. Yeah, uh, Liana's just mad because he always been with me and she feel like he cheated on her with me, but he cheated on me with her. She just been jealous and that's why she don't want him around. Order, order, mad, order, order in my courtroom. Now, order in my courtroom now. To start things off, Mr. Waller, don't you ever attack my integrity in my courtroom again. Do you understand me, young man? And Miss Stanley, I was trying to respect the fact that Mr. Waller brought you here, but to be honest, in these cases, I don't even need a character witness in here. Now you've just gone and made a mockery and a mess out of this courtroom, and you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Mr. Waller, back to you. If you would have given me a chance to finish talking to Ms. Byers, you would have known that I was going to come out and ask you next. I have a way and a process of how I run things in my courtroom. And what you are not going to do is run things here. Now, let me calm down. Mr. Waller, since you were unable to give me a chance to finish hearing out the case, to finish doing my due diligence, I have no choice but to grant full custody to Liana Byers in the case of Zara Byers and Zuri Byers. Ms. Byers, since I was only able to hear you know, such positive things on your end, as far as references that I reached out to, nobody that you had to bring into this courtroom, and to hear more of a backstory on yourself. Again, thank you for that. That's all I have to go on in this case. So my judgment is in favor of the defendant. Congratulations, Ms. Byers. Case closed. Man, this ain't nothing but some bull skits. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Your Honor. Thank you so much, Judge Reese. Thank you for allowing us to be in this courtroom again. And Your Honor, you just have a great day. Thank you. You do not know how much this means to me. So the hearing went in Liana's favor, thankfully. It got a little crazy during, but the judge quickly shut that down. And thankfully, Liana has been granted full custody. So... You know, they'll have a hearing later on down the line if they decide to do joint custody. But as far as who is going to solely and primarily take care of the girls and who the girls are going to solely live with, it's all left to Liana. So thankfully, all that Lamar and Tanya were trying to throw in the judge's face against Liana did not work in their favor because it could have all went bad. But obviously, you know, they were just being super petty and trying to take everything and just throw it at her so she could lose the case but thankfully she did not i'm so happy for our girl put some clapping emojis in the comment section some celebratory emojis in the comment section because our girl deserve it so i think i'm about to have her go home i was gonna have her like you know go get us up i was gonna have her go get a celebratory drink but honestly Liana can have a drink or whatever. She'll probably do it at home. But right now, she really just wants to be around her girls because it could have all changed in the blink of an eye. Like, it could have been officers following her home with Lamar and Tanya to get the girls and their belongings so everything went peacefully and accordingly. You know, it could have all been bad. So honestly, right now, she just want to go home and just snuggle and cuddle her babies and love on them extra hard tonight because, yeah. 
it could all be bad and their second birthday is coming soon so we don't need any bad vibes we need all good vibes over here so yeah we're about to head back to the house so i'm gonna see y'all there all right y'all so look liana's going straight to nailani where's zuri going at this point baby girl make your mess we happy we in a good mood go ahead and make a mess because honestly go ahead and make your mess baby because honestly yeah we are in a fantastic mood our girl gets her baby she's gonna come check up on them tell her a funny story come kiss her is my baby going to sleep i know she waiting for her mama and it's late but it's the weekend so we're gonna have vincent order a delivery like we got some things to celebrate okay so what are we gonna order i think mm, we were gonna do pizza but no let's do something else let's do let's do something else i think they deserve something else huh let's do hmm we could do shake shack okay oh yeah let's do shake shack okay we're gonna order our babies the chicken bites um we're definitely gonna get them a milkshake so let's get everybody cookies and cream milkshakes and then let's see we're gonna have liana get some bacon cheese fries and vincent is going to get the shake shack shroom burger and yeah but that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so like i said she's just gonna you know come love up on her babies just a little bit more because y'all like i'm so happy it went the way we wanted it to go because it, it could have just really been bad Vincent going to clean up. Okay, babes. This is just... This is just beautiful, y'all. I couldn't imagine... Like, Liana couldn't imagine her lives without her three babies. Like, don't get me wrong. It hasn't all been easy. But life without them is just unimaginable. Like, she had the twins when she was 16. They're about to be two. That's a big accomplishment. Like, our girl is doing her thing. You know, she does get her help and her parents and everything seem to be turning around. But like, she got some things to be proud of. Like she gotta wake up every day and keep these babies alive. And she does that very well. She shows them all the love. Oh, look at Vincent. Oh, let's get the food, hold on. Hold on a second, come get the food. I guess Nailani was hungry. Let's help her explore some food afterwards um we can try mango is she in there playing with the babies and then of course y'all know we got to tip them because if you don't tip them they're not gonna go away okay leon i'm sorry i know you've been here playing with them but can you come tip him so he can go away i'm sorry like i don't know who they think they are just chilling in our house like that go get that man that tip she's gonna unload the delivery bag oh nailani didn't like that okay let's go ahead and lay out this food hold on baby girl i'm gonna have the babies come get their food let me move this one over here so she can grab hers and then Liana come put out your bacon cheese fries so you can grab yours. I don't think they can, why can't they ever reach it is the crazy thing. Okay, how about this? Can you come grab it over here? What about here? Wow, okay. Let me put it in her inventory and then just have her eat it there. She can't get it out of her inventory. Maybe I need to update the mod or something. That's not right. Or what if I put it in the fridge and then she gets it out the fridge? Y'all, I'm trying everything, okay? I am trying everything. Come eat them. And Zuri is just... Listen, I said you can make one little mess, babes. You making all the messes, okay? Yeah, no, you guys can talk to her right now. I'm sorry. And we're going to try our gentle parenting. We're going to try. 
And she just having a good time. Yeah, baby, yeah. All right. I'm going to have to see what's going on with that mod for whatever reason. It's not letting them... It's not letting them grab the food, so... I'm going to have Vincent come... Oh, she's already going to bed. He's going to come read Zara to sleep. And then, Liana, you can come put Nailani to bed. All right, she's going to put Nailani to bed. Vincent, what are you going to do? Okay, you could do that. And then we're just going to sit down with Vincent and just tell him how everything went. We're going to have a deep conversation. So both of y'all come relax in here. And we're going to talk to our man, our man, our man, and tell him how great, thankfully, everything went. And let's talk to him. Let's have a deep conversation. Oh, they got to actually... Why, why is it like that? Okay, come sit here. At least come sit here. Aww. She's just like, yeah, so let me tell you. They really tried to come for me in the courtroom, but I held my ground, and I just tried to you know talk about the truth and state facts i try not to steer too much off of personal issues or emotions and just tell the truth about you know what we do on a daily basis to raise these girls and how you stepped up and how we have like a good system going here and he's like babe i'm so happy and she's like i'm so happy for you and i'm so proud of you for not stooping to his level like i know he put his hands on you and babe i'm sorry about that but i'm proud of you for Sticking to your guns and knowing that we got something we're trying to build here. We're trying to progress, thrive, and flourish. And we cannot afford to lose our babies. And he's like, exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm here to stay. I want to be a part of y'all lives forever. I love y'all. And I love this family that we have created. So, y'all, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this part right here. I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I did. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. So you never miss out when I post. All right, Simmies. I'll see y'all in the next video.